Hey Capricorn, we're going to do a quick card of the day today because I was not able to get weekly forecasts uh, posted in time. But I don't want to leave you guys hanging without any messages. So we're going to do a card of the day today. And I will post a card of the day every single day for this week. And then next week we'll go back to the regular format. This way, at least you will have messages coming in. We're going to see what is going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Especially since today is the 14th. Some people might be thinking about Valentine's Day. Or you're living in another part of the world where the 14th has come and gone. But maybe you're still thinking about Valentine's Day or love. So we're just going to see what's coming up. And you can apply the card to whatever area of um, your life this particular house is in for you. We're going to see what's going on for Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. And see what messages we have for the next 24 hours from whenever you see this video. So for Capricorn, the card that we have is the nine of swords now some people might say great like what a what a depressing card but the nine of swords is actually pretty reassuring the nine of swords lets us know that we may be really worrying about a situation that's not as bad as we think or it's not going to escalate uh to the problem we're concerned it might escalate into unless we're focusing on it. We're obsessing about it. I just know something is going to go wrong. And we're constantly putting that energy into it. Then we could manifest a problem. But Nine of Swords says it's not necessarily something that's going to happen. We want to be sure that we're paying attention to where we're focusing our energy. Where we're putting our focus. Because that's going to have a huge part in how things play out for us. When the Nine of Swords is here. Nine of Swords can also come up when we're really kind of worried about how other people may be seeing us or viewing us. So this could be a good time, especially Capricorn, since we're coming into the full moon in Leo on the 16th. Usually when we're coming into full moon energy, um, we might feel it a few days before. Uh, we might feel it that whole week. And the full moon in Leo is about coming into our heart center, coming into our feelings, coming into our emotions, uh, love energy, all this good stuff. And so as we're coming into this heart energy, Capricorn, one of the things that you guys might be releasing in the full moon energy, because the full moon is a time of release, whether you're doing it intentionally or not, for many of you, it's just happening very naturally. You don't realize it or you're not on purpose trying to uh, release this but many of you Capricorns are going to be releasing uh, the fear or the worry of what other people think about you okay maybe this has been something that was instilled in you from a very young age and you've been carrying this shame or this worry from the time you were a little kid that you're not behaving right or you're not acting right or you're not as smart as the other kids or as good as the other kids and you're shaming your family or whatever kind of beliefs you formed as a kid that have traveled with you through your life in this feeling or this worry of what do people think about me? How are they seeing me? How are they viewing me? They think I'm horrible. They think I'm terrible. A lot of you Capricorns are going to be releasing that, that fear of like constant judgment or not living up to standards or people talking or gossiping about you. A lot of you are releasing that fear in this particular full moon. Um, the Nine of Swords also says that sleep is crucial for you right now. I know a lot of people are struggling and suffering from insomnia right now. Um, Pam, Pam Gregory uh, is an astrologer on YouTube and uh, I like to watch her. I'm not an astrology expert by any means, guys. I've, I'm very honest about that. Yes, I'm a tarot reader, uh, but I read intuitively and I'm not going to give anybody any astrology lessons because I don't want to lead anybody astray. I'm not an expert. I don't want to get in, incorrect. I don't want to give incorrect information. But I know Pamela Gregory has done a wonderful job on her channel explaining what's happening with the planetary placements and the way that we're shifting and evolving and coming into this awakening, how this energy is causing a lot of insomnia right now. A lot of people might be experiencing insomnia and Capricorn. Maybe you guys are more sensitive to it right now, especially than some of the other signs. 
And so it might be difficult, but Spirit is saying you have to try to find a way to make sure you're getting sleep. Because I also feel Spirit is saying you guys are going to have some big decisions to make in the next two to three weeks. And the last thing we want to do is make big decisions when we haven't rested, when we haven't slept well. Because the more tired we are, the more emotional we are. The more emotional we are, we're going to make some not so great decisions so be sure that you're finding ways to rest maybe you want to have a holistic approach to it maybe some lavender and chamomile tea or a hot bath or soothing music or meditation or having like a wind down end of the day routine to try to get you in that calm relaxed energy whatever you can do that's healthy and good for you it's going to be a good idea to incorporate that to make sure that you're getting enough sleep and that you're getting enough rest and to practice surrender Capricorn. You might have fears and you have to remind yourself some of these fears might not happen at all. Do I have any control over it? Are there any steps that I can take to ensure a better outcome? Are there any uh, safety plans, plan B, plan C, safety nets that I can put out for in case my fear actually happens and the rest we surrender you know dear god dear universe here's all the things that i'm afraid might happen and here's what i'm doing to keep them from happening i ask that you help me and give me guidance i ask that if it's in the best and highest good of all involved that you keep these fears from happening but if for some reason they must happen i ask that you help me and carry me over them as quickly and as painlessly as possible or possible right? So do what you can and surrender the rest. Nine of swords can indicate a time in which we're balancing taking action, but also walking by faith in that way. You may want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign. Uh, You may want a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. I will have another card of the day posted tomorrow and a card of the day every single day this week. And next week, we'll go back to our regular format. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and be well.